Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be comparing two apps. Well, it's not really two. It's more like four apps. Mainly it is two. So I'm going to be comparing Pro Knockout with PicTap Go and Snapseed. Now with Pro Knockout, it is used to whiten the background of your photos. It is 100% free. Um, PicTap Go, on the other hand, it does cost $3.99 to use and then the Snapseed. So you kind of have double steps, but sometimes with the Pro Knockout, you actually have to use InstaSize to square mode your photos anyway. So both of them require two apps. So I'm gonna first show you what Pro Knockout does to a photo. Um, and I'm just gonna go right through and just show you. Okay, so here we've opened up Pro Knockout. So what you would do is you would click the button down here that says Album and you will go to your photos on your phone. So the photo that I'm gonna be using is this photo right here. As you can see, the background is kind of yellowed. That's what happens whenever I photograph blue colors. It always turns that color. So my goal is to make this photo a nice white background and make sure that the um, item itself is crisp and it looks nice. So I would go right here at the bottom where it says one, one. That's gonna square mode it. And then I'll press the next at the top right corner. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap my finger onto the screen and I'm gonna draw a line all the way around this item. And then I'm gonna push keep the object. All right, and as you can see, there's some spots that were missed up at the top, so I'll kinda just you can press this move button to move or you can just do what I did. Um, and then I'm going to go to erase. I'm going to try my hardest to make it as close as I can. This is the downfall of using this app. You have to go through all these extra steps which I don't find to be very worth it all right so that's good enough for me well there's also this one little spot here and if you want to lessen the size you just scroll down here so let's just try this like that yeah I think that's good enough up oh. And then you look over here. So at, right away, I mean, you can see that this, this app is, it can be a pain. It really can. Trying to get some of those colors. All right. So then you would just straighten this up. You would go up here to the top right, press next. And then the little button that has the arrow pointing up, you would click that. And then it saves it and that's how it whitens the photo. So I will save the album and then I will go into my Insta size and I will press the plus button at the bottom and then I will find that photo which is right here and then I will go right here to the square at the bottom with the two little angles in it next to the three lines in the circle and I will click that. Then I will click Insta size and that square modes my item so then I will save to camera roll okay so we're gonna leave that one alone now and we'll come back and, and observe it later but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use that same original photo and I'm gonna pick tap go and I'm going to open up that photo if I can find it okay so it's right here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press edit and I'm gonna look down here and there is a filter called lights on. That's the one that I'm gonna use. Um, if you do not have that filter, whenever I first started using this, I could not find that filter. You just need to click on filters and then go to all, it will show up. So I will click lights on. So just kind of keep an eye on this big picture when I click it, it brightens it quite a bit. Um, I'm actually not going to do any kind of adjustments here because this right here, this little bar down here can help you lighten or brighten. If it's too bright, sometimes it'll turn really white like a glow. You can use that to kind of scale it down some. But I think that's a good 
uh, color, the saturation, everything's good. So I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to go up here to the right top and I'm going to press go. And then I'm going to save it to my camera roll. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Snapseed. I'm going to press open at the top left. And I'm going to go find that photo that I just lightened, which is over here somewhere. All right, it's right here. And then I'm going to go at the bottom to where it says Tools and click that. And then there's a circle with a dot and it's called Selective. I'm going to click that. And if you see at the bottom, there's a circle with a plus sign on it. Whenever that is blue, then you can tap on the white areas of the background. So I'm going to tap right here and it's going to put a B. And all you do is put your finger on the screen and scroll all the way to the right. And that changes the brightness. You can also scroll down like this to see other options like contrast, saturation, structure. I typically only stick with that. I don't really do the other. Some people do, I don't. So I'm just going to tap that plus sign at the bottom again and I'm going to tap another corner and then I'm going to scroll all the way to the right. I'm going to tap it again on this corner, scroll all the way to the right, tap it again onto this corner and scroll all the way to the right. So as you can see, it's already brightened. Now, if you wanted to take and tap it onto the item itself to kind of brighten it in some spots, you're welcome to do so. Um, but yeah, that's all you do. You press that check mark at the bottom, then you'd press export, save a copy. I don't know why it's saying that, but anyway, you get the drift, right? I don't know why it's saying I can't save a copy, but there it goes. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go to my photos and we'll look at these items and we're going to compare. So right away you can see the two photos. We have this photo here which was done with Pro Knockout. That's without lightening the out, you know, the clothing at all. And then we have this photo which was done with Snapseed and PicTap Go. I mean, there's a huge difference. Obviously, this one looks the best. I 100% suggest trying out PicTap Go and Snapseed. It really makes a huge difference um, compared to using a program like Pro Knockout. It kind of blurs the item a little bit. It just it looks bad, you know. So that is it for this um, video. <laughs> lost my train of thought there for a minute. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful to some of you. I did have somebody ask me yesterday um, about uh, showing them how to do this and that's it. So hopefully that person will find this and I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.